guys, welcome to another video. So hopefully you can hear me okay because I don't have one of those fancy microphone setups and I'm a little bit of a ways from the camera. So hopefully the audio comes through okay. But I am making this video about this bad boy. This is the Icy Breeze Portable Air Conditioner Cooler Thingamajig. You might be wondering, why am I talking about this on this channel? It's because I bought this for the dogs. <laughs> so this was a purchase solely based on having to go places with the dogs where they have to be left in the car, like a trial situation. And I can't leave the car on because I'm not around the car because that's how you get your car stolen with your dogs inside of it. Don't do that tangent, but this can cool down the car with ice only. So this is the Platinum Edition in Midnight Black. It's from a brand called Icy Breeze. Let's go ahead and just get right into opening this bad boy up because it is going to be going to a trial with me in a few weeks here. And we're actually going to see for real if it works. So. Like I said, this is the Platinum Edition in Midnight Black. I got the dual splitter, so it can go to both of the crates. I got the 12 volt power supply, which comes with it, and that means you can plug it into your car's cigarette outlet. Cool. And then I also got the big battery for this. Um, it also runs off a battery. Also cool. So. It was about $500 with a coupon code. So, let's get into this. Quick start guide. Owner's manual. All the good stuff, all the good stuff. So, this looks like the battery. So like I said, I did get the battery for it. I got the big battery. It can run for six and a half hours on low four-ish hours on medium and I think like two and a half hours on high. It is just like your standard battery that you use with like tools. So drills, reciprocating saws, all that kind of stuff. Use a battery similar to this, kind of like our Ryobi fans use these batteries as well. So this is the big battery. I wanted that because I didn't want to be solely reliant on the 12 volt in the car. I wanted to be able to run it off of the battery. So when you buy the battery with the cooler, you get, I think that's what this is. You get the charger for free. If you order the battery later, you do have to pay for the charger um, like separately. So. If you want to get the battery, you might as well just buy it with the cooler because you're going to save money that way. But just your standard battery charger for that. Paper. Oh, I think this is the 12 volt cord. Yeah. Yes, so this is the 12 volt power supply that plugs into the cigarette outlet in your car. Also, pretty standard. Now, let me stand up and get this cooler out of this box. <laughs> so here is our portable AC cooler. Like I said, I got it in midnight black. It looks super sick in all black, super fancy. I also got the dual splitter. So what's really cool about the dual splitter is you can split the air coming out of the unit to two dog crates. I'm telling you, I swear this thing was built for dog people and dog sport people because it is perfect. I'm very excited about it so it better work. <laughs> now, uh, dual splitter tubes. Let's get those out of the way. Now we get to the details of the cooler. 
Now, I will say, um, I think you should watch the video they have on their website. It's going to be far more detailed and far more technical than I'm going to be able to explain this to you. But the basic mechanics of this cooler. You open it. You put ice inside, out of the bag. So you buy bag ice and you pour it into this cooler and then as the like ice starts to melt, it obviously creates water. The water then goes in a little hose that's down on the inside. It comes up through the cooling unit and then back down into the tube. So it's literally pulling water up and rotating it through. Um, basic AC mechanics, truthfully. Um, and what's cool about this is that it doesn't need an exhaust at all, like an exhaust. A situation like you might see some other portable um, ACs that you would have for your house and any of the condensation that is accumulated on the unit here just drips back down into your cooler and just gets recirculated to create more cold air love that so it then comes out here blows out here now you have a little fan, like a car AC little circulator, but you have this here. And with this, you pull this out like this, and then you would attach your dual splitter and your other two hoses to both of the crates. It stores right back in there. On the top of the unit, you also have where your battery plugs in, if you have the separate battery, as well as the control panel for the AC. And then you also have, if I can get this off of my nails, you have where you can plug in the 12 volt right there. The Platinum also has a USB here, so you could charge your phone with it if you wanted to. For me personally, it's gonna be solely for the dogs, so I want all battery usage running for the AC. You've got your controls, high, medium, low, up, down, power, and then it also has an extreme cool button on the Platinum as well. So that is the basic overview uh, and mechanics of the cooler portable air conditioner. Like I said, I am taking this to a trial um, in a few weeks, it's going to be late June in Illinois. It's going to be hot and I'm definitely going to be using this. So I will be filming that as well so we can get a first hand, first try experience with this unit. Um, but I am, I'm honestly pretty excited about it. The idea that you can just buy bag ice wherever you are and fill this thing up is super neat you don't need anything you know special aside from ice they do sell um, ice packs that you, on their website as well um, they have noted they don't work as well as bag ice but if for some reason you weren't in a place you could buy bag ice or you didn't want to buy bag ice you have that option as well with the uh, giant ice packs that they sell on their website but yeah I'm really really excited about this so let's keep our fingers crossed that it works Okay, I've got the icy breeze full of ice. 
Um, I've got 27 pounds of ice in here. They didn't have 10, so um, I would have put 30 in here. It would fit 30, but 27 will do. I'm going to start getting this thing pre-chilled and ready to go to use later. So I've got the Icy Breeze sitting here in the back. I've got it venting to her crate, so it's blowing air directly into her crate. And then I also am putting a Ryobi right here just to move some more air. And I have it on medium, but I actually don't have it on the extreme cooling. Right now, I don't really need it. It's blowing pretty darn cold air. And so now is about where it's the hottest of the day. So it's gonna be running a lot more now. Um, or I hadn't been running it previously. So we will see how it does, but I'm super, super impressed with the Illuminate, the Icy Breeze and the fans. But we just, we just ran, but before she was just chilling, like hanging out, falling asleep, not even panting. The unit has probably been on for about two hours now. We've got a big breeze coming through here, but it is 91 and the reel feels like 107. So she's panting right now, but that's because we just got back from our exterior run, but she'll settle back in here. As you can see, we have a lot of condensation happening on the hose and the unit. I still have it on medium, extreme cool. And almost all of our ice has melted. So right now with the extreme cool, it is pulling the water up through the hoses and that's where the cold air is coming from. It's very cold. And then I still have the two Ryobi fans, but this thing was definitely a smart purchase and I'm so glad I got it. So I just wanted to do kind of like a final um, overview of the Icy Breeze cooler. So I will say that I think it was a wonderful investment. I would buy it again today. Um, no questions asked. I think it worked wonderfully for what I was looking to do. Uh, both days she was completely comfortable in her crate. Um, she would just fall asleep um, after her runs and hang out. The crate was cool. Um, I just think it worked wonderfully. Now I will say I think that you need, or it is my opinion, that you need the whole deal, right? I think you still need a luminette and I think you still need fans. Um, fans help with the circulation of air. So while the icy breeze is blowing cold air directly into the crate, I think the Ryobi's circulating the air helped keep the crate cooler. And then the Illuminate obviously was a must have. Um, as much sun and heat as you can reflect off of your vehicle, the better. But I still think that the icy breeze made it so that I could create in the car comfortably, like completely comfortably, whereas I would not have created in the car had I not had it. Had I not had it, there's no way I would have had her in the car this weekend based on how hot it was. So I would say, yes, it is a good investment. It is a good purchase. Um, I will have it linked down below. This is not a sponsored video. I don't think I said that from the beginning. This is not sponsored. They didn't send me anything. They didn't ask me to do this. Um, it's just something I thought would be cool. I think it's a great idea. And so I wanted to review it for you guys and tell you whether or not I think you should also get one. So like I said, I will have a link to their website down below. But if you have any questions about it, definitely leave them down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them um, if I can. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.